Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and today we're going to take a look at how Starship has evolved over the years and where it's going in the future. So stick around. I'll be right back. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets us know you're enjoying these videos. The actual development of Starship started in 2014. But back as early as 2007, Elon Musk let it be known that his plan was to settle Mars. With respect to space, the long-term ultimate objective, the, the Holy Grail, is to help make life multiplanetary. That's really what we'd like to do. I don't think your goal's big enough. Ha! Huh. Yeah? It's ambitious. Well, like I said, we don't, don't expect to do it single-handedly, but we certainly would like to help make it happen. The vehicle itself wasn't mentioned by Elon until 2012 and looked a lot different than it does today. Back then, it was called the Mars Colonial Transporter. The idea was to make this vehicle more reusable than even the Falcon 9 is today. Elon has actually talked about four different versions of Starship since 2016. The first version was the ITS, or the Interplanetary Transport System. Next came the BFR in 2017. The BFR version is when they started to incorporate wings, or at least they looked like wings. The main intent is to give stability during re-entry and landing by introducing lift and drag. But it was found that they weren't enough and something else had to be added. Control thrusters alone was not going to do the job. So they started looking into other options. So in 2018, the new version of BFR emerged. This version had three fins, or as Elon prefers to call them, body flaps, two of which were articulating. The only purpose of the third fin was to be used as a landing leg. This version also incorporated nose flaps or canard flaps. The front and the rear flaps work basically as air brakes, slowing or speeding up the ship as needed. By using the front and rear flaps in combination, this will allow the rocket to pitch, roll, or yaw, as seen here. Just last year, in 2019, Elon unveiled the most recent version. This version is now called Starship. I think uh, it's, it's, this, is, this is, I think, the, the most inspiring thing that I've ever seen. This new version of Starship eliminated the rear non-essential flap. This version only incorporates the two front and rear articulating flaps. This was also the point where Elon decided to do away with the thought of using regenerative heat shielding and go back to heat tiles. Now that we've gone over pretty much everything we already know about Starship, where is Starship going in the future? Will the future Starship continue to include its rear control flaps? Or how about its front control flaps? I think so long as Elon continues using the cylindrical shaped hull, they'll still need to use some type of control surface to maintain stability. 
Then back in August of last year, Elon tweeted about an 18-meter diameter starship. This thing would be an absolute monster. It would basically have four times the area than the current version of Starship. A Starship of this size would require eight times the thrust of the current Starship to even get off the ground. Where the current Starship Super Heavy will have between 35 and 42 Raptor engines, the 2.0 version will have between 60 and 120 Raptor engines. We will have to see what happens with version 2.0. We all know with Elon, things can change on a daily basis. They may end up changing shape and size of the fins, depending on what ends up working better. But we'll be keeping an eye on that. And here we have Super Heavy. They have yet to build one of these, but I'm sure they will be doing this very shortly. Due to the high noise level, will they have to build offshore launch facilities? This could end up being a necessity. And will they ever be able to implement Earth point-to-point -point starship service? What other versions of Starship will they have? How about a refueling tanker? Or a satellite launch system? Maybe they'll have daily orbit excursions along with entertainment and cocktails. Give me your thoughts down in the comments. I'm curious to know what kind of changes you think they'll make to Starship in the future. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. There are some amazing people. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description.